We were really excited and really surprised on Tuesday while we watched the presentation of the People's Choice Podcast Awards. We'd heard from a friend of a friend who'd won in the past that the organizers contact the winners in advance to find out if they're going to be there to accept. And since nobody ever contacted us, we kind of assumed that we had come up short and that we were going to have to wait until next year and try again. So I'm sitting there kind of rooting for Seth Andrews' show despite the puppy kicking allegations. And I was caught completely off guard when they announced that we had actually won. So, you know, had we known, I think Heath and I would have made the trip. And it's not like we need a whole hell of a lot of justification to go to Vegas, but with ReasonCon coming up and podcaster incomes, we ultimately decided against it. And as miserable as the actual presentation was, I'm almost glad that I did. But I do regret not being there to give an acceptance speech. I was jealous of all the podcasters there that had a chance to thank their audience when they were right at the peak of that emotional high, and I would have loved to have been able to share that moment with you rather than using it to scare the shit out of my cats. But of course, most of you wouldn't have been watching the podcast award presentations anyway, so if you don't mind, I'd like to offer you the speech now that I would have given in Vegas had I been there. First and foremost, I obviously want to thank all the listeners that made it possible not only for us to win this award, but also to turn ourselves bitching into microphones in a basement into a full-time job. I want to thank all the organizers of the event that have invested so much in honoring and recognizing the importance of this blossoming medium of entertainment. I also want to thank all our esteemed competitors in this category for not using their invisible, omnipotent wish granter to swipe the award from us. So thanks for either not praying or proving that prayer doesn't work, whichever it was. I need to thank my lovely wife, Lucinda, of course without whom this show never would have started. I need to thank my good friend Eli Bosnick, who has been an integral part of the podcast since its inception. I also want to thank the forward-thinking Nevada legislatures who eased up on the prostitution laws, which is why my good friend Heath is not with us right now. But most of all, I want to thank all the people that haven't killed me. See, just this year, we've seen people gunned down en masse in Paris for doing what we do. We've seen people hacked to death with machetes in Bangladesh for doing what we do. We've seen a man beaten and imprisoned by his government for doing what we do, and we might yet see that man murdered by his government for the same crime. We are proud blasphemers. We're proud not only to blaspheme, but to live in a nation that rewards it. Because whatever your religious beliefs might be, you need to recognize that blasphemy is the beating heart of a free society. The same laws that protect my right to insult your religion protect your right to practice it. No idea is too sacred to attack, no belief too sanctified to turn it into a dick joke. We've seen the alternative, and I think all of us, atheist and theist alike, would prefer this to that. <laughs> 